Right. Hello and welcome to a Fit Essentials class. I'm Shauna. I'll be guiding you through. If you're using any uh, blood flow restriction training today, we've got our air in our band, so you can go ahead and add air. And we're going to be starting down on the floor today. If you do want to have like a chair or a bench available on the second round of glute bridge work, I'm going to have the option to elevate the feet to get a little bit more hamstring activation. Otherwise, we're going to start by warming up the wrist and then we'll go into a little bit of some cat cow. We got some midline work from there. So go ahead and make your way down to all fours. Coming down to hands and knees, you're simply going to turn your palms down with your fingers rotating in towards you. Spread those fingers nice and wide, and then just gently lean on back. Sharon, I don't know if you can tilt your camera down a little bit, but we can't, we can only see your ceiling today. Oh, but there you are. Leaning back a bit, and then we'll come off of that, turning the hands so they face in towards one another. You just go ahead and interlace those fingers, and then we'll take a little bit of a circular pattern. Thank you. And then when you're ready, circle the other direction. Very nice. When you come off those hands, if you're comfortable to come into a kneeling position and then back to the hands together with the fingers pointing down, draw the shoulders down out of the ears and draw those elbows down. Good. Just a couple of breaths here. So we're gonna go cat cow mobility and breathing for the mid back neck, circle those wrists around. And then our first midline exercise will be our down dog knee to elbow. So we'll be doing a little bit of stretching as we move through, follow along when you feel ready. So as we get into that down dog position, you're gonna really spread the fingers nice and wide. The wider the handprint, the more support for the wrist. And then when you're ready, you're gonna start by sending those hips high. Gently guide the heart towards the thighs. And then as you come forward, draw your knee towards the elbow, alternating sides, driving back, chin to the chest, rocking forward, knee towards that opposite elbow. Excuse me, same side elbow on this round. Got just under a minute to practice this. You need to come down at any point and shake it out. Otherwise, just nice and steady here, using it as a bit of a stretch and mobility as you push back. And then really lift up between those shoulders as you draw forward, pulling that knee up. Good. On this next one, start to lower those heels down a bit as well. Get a bit of a length in the back of the lower legs, stretching out those calves. Maybe one more here, pushing back, drawing forward, and then come on down. From here, we're gonna make your way onto your back. A little bit of a low back stretch first, and then we'll move into some glute bridge. As you come down, take a touch of that upper body, draw the shoulders underneath you, and then we're gonna begin with that double knee to chest, pulling both legs in and rock the body side to side. There you go, just loosen up that low back. From here, we're gonna get ready for that first bridge, starting in about 10 seconds. Just simply place the feet, Right about hip width apart. You can rest the hands on the hips or at the sides. And then when you're ready, nice and controlled here, starting to pulse those hips up and lowering on down. And just use the use your body to guide how fast or slow you want to move today. If you're feeling a little bit stiff, then I would recommend moving a little bit slower. If you're feeling like you've been up for a while, been doing a lot of work today, you want to move a little bit faster, and you can get that faster pulse up and down. Breathing in as you lower, breathing out as you raise those hips up. You can give a little bit of attention to the foot as well. You should be pushing through the heel and also try to find that big toe pushing all the way through the foot, not letting any of the toes raise up. Nice. Breathing in to lower, breathing out, hips drive up, chin to the chest. Trying to imagine lengthening through that lower spine as you raise the hips up, avoiding any kind of pinching sensation. Fantastic. Last time here, up and squeeze, down and release. Great job. You can return that double knee to chest, or if you want to go deeper into that low back stretch, take it into a two knee twist. Arms to the side, both legs come to one side, looking over that opposite shoulder, and then scooping the knees up and across, rotate that head and neck as you look over that opposite shoulder. We're going to stay on our backs for this next exercise. This will be our last uh, midline practice before we go back to the top. And we're going to be working that hollow body position. If you're pretty strong with that hollow body, you can add a little bit of a flutter kick. 
Otherwise, I'm going to show with the bent knee, alternating the straight leg. So when you're ready, I'm going to lift the legs up, putting my arms up to overhead, draw that belly in. I'm going to think about making my spine into like the bottom of the boat. No arching of that lower back. So if this is tough, I'll just hold here. If I want to advance the movement, then I can extend one leg out, ensuring that low back doesn't rise off the mat, and then that opposite leg can come out. Good. This is a pretty taxing motion for that upper body as well. So at any point the neck gets tired, just rest down for a second. You can keep the head on the ground if the neck's a little bit sensitive today, or you feel a little bit stiff. Otherwise, practice also building strength in the front part of your neck. Breathing fluid as you move, about 10 seconds left. Very nice. And two. One and rest. Very good. We're going to roll it back over to all fours. This time, instead of that cat cow, we're going to lower back into that child's position. So toes come together, walk your knees out, reach your arms straight out on the mat, and then slowly lower those hips back, bow the head down. Just a short rest here for our second set of down dog knee to elbow. Let's take about three nice deep breaths into the back and sides of the rib cage. See if you can breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. When you're ready, coming back forward. And on this round of the uh, down dog, we're going to take the knee across the body towards the opposite elbow. Two, one. Here we go. Hips high, pushing back, lifting up, coming forward. Knee pulls across. As you push back, draw that chin in towards the chest. Just imagine inviting that heart a little bit closer to the thighs. Excellent. All right, now to sink into that upper body. We're lifting up out of the shoulders as you draw forward. Excellent. That's 30 seconds. We're going to go about another 15. Maybe one more time on each side, pushing back, drawing forward, and even it out. Fantastic. As you come on down, this is the get ready for our second round of that glute bridge. I'm going to bring my chair over. I'm going to have my feet elevated on set two. <sighs> All right. Loosen up that low back last round if you need to. Return to that double knee to chest by all means. Otherwise, if you're ready to move into set two, we're gonna have the feet elevated or flat on the ground. And when you're ready, we'll practice for about a minute here. All the same components. And now you'll feel a little bit more activation if you're elevating the feet into the back of the hamstrings. Lowering down, raising on up. <laughs> He's okay. Let's see what he's chewing on. Ah, good job. Breathing in the lower, breathing out as you stand. Arms at the sides. You're over halfway. 15 seconds left. Good job. Relaxing down. Raise up. Avoid any pinching sensation. Get my word. Sensation in the front of the hips. When you finish that last rep, go ahead and rest. All right, one more time to that hollow body position. All right, getting ready for that hollow. Give a little break to that low back. We got about 15 seconds until we're going to start. <laughs> so but she has my little piece of bone. All right, and then when you're ready from there, raise those arms to overhead. Draw that stomach in as you raise on up. Get you on know, some kisses from the puppy dog. And then so show the flutter kicks. That's with both legs straight. And you point the toes, raise the legs up and down, or the one knee bent, one leg straight. Really key here, again, don't cheat yourself. If you feel any strain in that low back, you're maybe progressing a little bit too fast. So you're really working to pull that pelvis back and holding it neutral as you move through the legs. 
Time to get my upper body a little bit of a break. Ah, and then coming back up, 20 seconds left. Keep breathing. Woo. Almost there. Three, two, one, and everybody Gross. rest. Good job. Hug those legs and rock your body side to side. <laughs> Got a little puppy energy up here this morning. All right, friends, that completes our midline and glute activation work for the first half. Let's come back into down dog. We're going to slowly inch our inch worm our way up to standing and get ready for that next circuit. Wide hand print. Ah, push on back. Just take your time coming up out of that forward fold. Excellent. And then once you come on up to standing, let's loosen those hips up with a little hip circle. Three to five times in one direction. And then three to five times in that opposite direction. We've got four exercises coming up next. We've got some squat work, a deadlift, alternating overhead press, and then an alternating reverse lunge. We're gonna be working for a minute on each. On round two, let's go ahead and start to warm up some squats at the feet. Round two, we're gonna be doing 45 seconds of each. And then that third and final round, we'll about 30 seconds of each exercise. We'll probably keep the air in the bands for the first two rounds and then take it out on round three. You wanna see where our time is. All right, beautiful. And then from here, practice a little bit of balance. Let's stretch out those quads after you get a couple squats in. Pulling that heel back, soft bend the knees. Excellent. And same thing, other side. Draw on up. Ooh. And it's going to be a rolling clock for the first round of the minute. So you just switch up weights. Join us when you can. All right, we're going to start our squats here in 15 seconds. So your choice if you want to hold weight on your first round, I'm going to go body weight on round one and then progressively get a little bit heavier as the time goes down. So you're going to set those feet right about hip width apart, just a very gentle toe out. And then when you're ready, you're going to reach your arms out in front. If you're not holding any weight, squeeze the glutes as you stand tall. If you are holding weight, typically right about the shoulders and push those elbows up and forward. Nice. Pacing yourself through, moving at a tempo you can maintain for this full minute. And obviously, if you need to rest at all, great way to slow it down is pause at the top. Making sure you get nice and deep in the bottom. Heels stay planted. Toes push down so you don't raise those toes up. Good, just over halfway. We're gonna be moving into our deadlift next. I am gonna be picking up a light weight. If anyone wants to hold off on weights, you can also practice that good morning position in that first round. All right, 10 seconds. Give me a couple more squats and then I'm going to go grab my weight. Get ready for those deadlifts. And that completes the minute on the squat. Moving into the deadlift. I keep my feet in a similar position. Have the weight right between my hips and then lowering down, standing tall. Long spine now. So I'm pushing those hips back, bowing forward with the upper body. And that work we practice on the ground, that hollow position. You want to kind of feel that activation as you're moving here through the hinge. So I'm drawing my belly in, ensuring that lower spine doesn't overarch. Good. Breathing in, lowering down, breathing out, pushing through the legs, standing tall. Wonderful. Over halfway. We're moving into the upper body coming up next with that alternating overhead press. So typically it's going to be a lighter weight than you're using for your deadlifts. You one more time here. And then as you set that weight down, use those same mechanics, hips back, chest tall. There's our minutes. Grabbing your lighter weights, preferably one in each hand if you have it. And then when you're ready, we go one arm up and the other arm up, alternating sides. Just a soft bend in the knees. Checking in with the feet. We want those toes pointing straight ahead this time and a little bit narrower stance than you used for your squat or deadlift. Excellent. 
And then what tends to go wrong with that upper body? We tend to lean back. So make sure you tuck the front of the ribs down, squeeze that tush. And if you get to where you need a little assist, you can turn it into a push press. So you dip and drive up to overhead. It'll incorporate the legs a little bit more. I'm gonna stick with a strict press on this first set. Lunges are coming up next. And three, two, one, and transition. Similar to the squats, I'm gonna go unweighted on this first set. So chest tall, you're gonna step one foot back, controlling that knee down, and then pulling up and forward. Pulling through that front heel, driving into the ground, standing tall, nice. Reach those arms out as you step back. Encourage that chest position to stay upright. And then that front shin, we want it to be nice and vertical. So if you step too short, sometimes that knee shoots forward. So you're stepping back far enough. Great work, 30 seconds. Then we're gonna have a 30 second break before we jump into round two. Woo. Eyes up. Excellent. Similar on the squats, you wanna make sure the knee's not dropping in. Pushing that big toe down is gonna help stabilize up through the ankle. All right, last one and take a pause. Okay, sir, let's grab a quick drink. Be back to those squats in about 20 seconds. On round two, if you wanna hold some weight, make it a little bit harder because now we're gonna be working for 45 seconds instead of 60. All right, squatting first, set the feet. Eyes up, two, one, here we go. Super. If you're holding weight, drive those elbows up, similar to how you'd reach your arms out. Find the spot straight ahead to focus on. Nice, steady breathing. Woo. Feel that burn now with a little bit more weight. 20 seconds left. Woo. All right, Moose, bring your horse over. Great job, 10 seconds. Moving into those deadlifts next. Two, one, and transition. Let's take that 15 seconds to grab the weight. Make sure you have a good posture of that back. Squeeze those shoulders back, slight toe out. And then when you're ready, long spine. Breathing into lower, breathing out as you stand tall. And watch that you don't over arch back as you stand all the way up. Sometimes we tend to push back instead of just stacking those shoulders right over the hips. Nice. Breathing in. Breathing out as you push into those legs, standing tall. Beautiful. Start to note that head and neck position as well as you bow forward. Now we're gonna look down towards the floor. As you stand tall, I should be up. 10 seconds left. Get that overhead press going next. Two, one, and transition. All righty. Coming back to the dumbbells, walking the feet in, toes forward, and two, one, 45 starts now. You can stick with that strict press. If you went a little bit heavier, need a little extra dip and drive, or want a little bit more involvement of the legs, you can add that push press, where we dip down, little quarter squat, and then we drive up. Nice. And we're working on that full extension through the shoulder. So trying to elevate that shoulder up towards the ear, bringing your weight right over the center of the head. Good. That gets that full lateral rotation of your shoulder blade. Build some strength in that end range. Lunges are coming up next, couple more. And two, one, and rest. So if you're using air, you started with us, you can let it out. And I'm gonna weight my lunges. You make that choice for you. 
Make sure if you are gonna hold weight, that you're comfortable with that full range. All right, eyes up and 45 seconds starts now. Always controlling that back knee down. Nice. My favorite little beach analogy, I'm in the sand. I'm pulling that heel into the sand to get a nice deep footprint on that front leg. Kind of feel how it propels you up and forward. Wonderful. There's 30 seconds, another 15, and then we're gonna have a short break. Good, great control. Nice and fluid crew. Last one and take a pause. Excellent, we'll take 30 seconds. Grab a drink and we'll be into our final round. Now in this final round, you wanna go the heaviest weight that you have available within your comfort zone, right? Making sure that you're smart and you're gonna be safe with the movements that you do. All right, taking these bands off. We're gonna get started here in about 10 seconds. Oops. Squats are first. All right, just a gentle toe out. Eyes up and begin. Now we're on that third and final set. It's our shortest interval, working for 30 seconds. So here, if you're feeling strong, you got good recovery this weekend, kind of push that tempo a little bit. Sitting back, standing tall. Beautiful, almost there. And transition. Good, get ready for the deadlifts. Hold two weights, one in each hand, right between the legs. All right, standing tall, check in with that midline and begin. Long spine as you bow forward, pushing the hips back, pushing the knees out. And then activate through those shoulders, keeping those shoulders squeezed back and down. Good, halfway through. Good focus. Last one and transition here. All right, going back to that alternating overhead press. Two exercises to go, folks. Elbows up and forward. Ready, here we go. Now we can start to move a little bit faster from arm to arm. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky if you add that push press, but on a strict press, as we're moving through. Almost like an exaggerated hand walk on the ceiling. Going from one arm to the other, pushing high, good support through those shoulders. Ensure you don't start to arch back now. That midline strong. Two, one, and quick shake out. We'll take 15 seconds. And then our last exercise is the lunge. All righty, so you can hold weight here. Elbows up and forward, two, one, and final 30 seconds on the lunge. Make sure you're just lightly lowering that knee down. If you're getting it faster, just ensure you still have control of the motion. Eyes up. Halfway. Wonderful, good Sharon, yep. Without weight, reach those arms straight out. Encourage that chest to stay tall. Two, one, and everybody's done. Woo, great job. Let's grab a drink. If you're short on time today, or if your energy's a little bit low, you could call that the end of your session and just hang out for a little bit of some stretching here for your cool down. Otherwise, we got one more round, one more circuit coming up. All right. Now after you grab a drink, we're gonna go ahead and do our behind the back stretch with our forward fold. So you're gonna walk the feet nice and wide, anchor down those legs, draw the stomach in, extend those arms back behind, and then you'll take those hips back, 
Pull those arms right over top of the head. And now nice deep breath, trying to go in through the nose, out through the mouth. On that exhale, see if your body wants to come a little bit closer. One more time. On that next breath, come on up. All right. From here, standing tall, we're gonna open up those inner thighs. Okay, horsey lost his second eye. Thanks, I'll take that moose. Walk those feet nice and wide. Root down in those legs, reach those arms out, pushing those knees wide. Breathing in as you come to the top, breathing out. This is the one that you should really feel that big toe able to push down. Keep that traction of the knee driving wide. We don't want it to sink in. Super. Shimmy those feet in just a little bit from there. Hands on the thighs. And we're going to push one leg out as we rotate the torso, looking over that opposite shoulder. Breathe in as you come back to center. Nice broad chest. And then breathing out, taking it the other way. Two to three times each direction. Fantastic. All right, standing tall from there. Last stretch is gonna be a little combo motion. We're gonna open the hips. We're gonna open that upper body with our stagger stance, tricep side bend. So we're gonna step one foot forward. Let's mirror each other. You can step your right foot forward, your left foot back. Keep your feet hip width apart. And now we're gonna get the hips to drive forward here. We're gonna nice opening on this trail leg as you reach that same arm of the trail leg up. Bending the elbow. So you get that shift of the hips, trying to really squeeze that bum of that trail leg. And now we're gonna bend towards that front leg, pulling the elbow back, keeping the chin in. Now we're gonna go in and out of that side bend. So coming out of it, back into that hip shift and a nice long side bend. Good, one more time. We'll add the rotation this time. Hips shift back, glide them forward, bending to the side. And if you wanna add a little bit more rotation, you're gonna peer up to the sky or ceiling, past that elbow. All right, release there and shake it out a little sidestep arm swing. <laughs> Moose, you want to make sure everyone knows you have a new horse in the house? All right, I'm going to get ready for that opposite side. So keep the feet hip width apart. Long step back. Draw the stomach in. The arm of the trail leg is going to reach up. So the hip shift is key. When we sit all day long, the front of those hips get really tight. So we wanna to focus to open them, eyes up, chest tall, bending that body towards that front leg. Holding for about two breaths, and then we'll come out of it for twice more. Hips back, hips forward. Think about being long and tall through the torso. Whew, good, last time, back, forward, gentle side bend with that option to gently rotate, peering up past the elbow. Really trying to squeeze that tush of the trail leg and then unwind from there. Good job. Back to that side step arm swing. <sighs> 